The Sinclair Cough System. Part of a gold standard family of airway clearance products, it's designed for use by patients, caregivers, and healthcare providers to provide non-invasive therapy that is a safe alternative to invasive suctioning. Developed with patient comfort, flexibility, and safety in mind, it simulates a cough to remove secretions in patients with a compromised peak cough flow. This video will provide an overview of the system features and instructions for use. For complete instructions, refer to the Sinclara Cough System User Manual. Key features of the Sinclara Cough System include Single Patient Use Circuits These are disposable but intended to be used for multiple treatment sessions. Each circuit is equipped with a smart filter to help track its usage. These circuits connect to the programmable control unit. Together, they are designed to deliver effective cough therapy. This is achieved by supplying positive insufflatory pressure, or inhale, to inflate the airways, and then rapidly shifting to negative exsufflatory pressure, or exhale, to produce a high expiratory flow which simulates an effective cough. After exhale, the system moves into a paused state and maintains a positive pressure flow to the patient if programmed. This is referred to as positive airway pressure on pause. Additional features for patient comfort include end with sigh which opens the patient's airways after the last exhale of the therapy. Patient Synchrony, which detects the patient's inhale effort and activates the inhale stage automatically to synchronize cough cycles with the patient's breath pattern. Flutter, which provides pressure oscillation to assist in loosening and removing secretions. And for convenience, the Sinclair cough system can be powered by a lithium-ion battery when AC power is not available. A fully charged new battery can support nine sessions of a typical Sinclair therapy, providing added flexibility in where therapy can be delivered. The Sinclair cough system is intended for use on pediatric to adult patients who are unable to cough or clear secretions effectively due to reduced peak cough expiratory flow. This could be a result of neuromuscular deficits or severe fatigue associated with intrinsic lung disease. To assemble the circuit, attach the smart filter to one end of the breathing hose. To connect the circuit to the controller unit, simply align the larger end of the smart filter with the therapy port on the control unit. Gently turn the smart filter to secure it to the therapy port. Make sure the frosted part of the smart filter covers the therapy port entirely. For use with mouthpiece, gently twist the mouthpiece into the free end of the breathing hose. For use with a face mask, insert and gently twist the adapter into the free end of the breathing hose. Connect the other end of the adapter to the face mask. For use with a patient with a tracheostomy, insert and gently twist the tracheostomy adapter into the free end of the breathing hose. The free end of the flexible tracheostomy adapter can then be attached to the patient's tracheostomy tube during therapy. If possible, have the patient sit in an upright position. Before beginning therapy, place the patient interface into position on the patient. Make sure the patient maintains a tight seal on the face mask or mouthpiece during the therapy. With the face mask, tightly but comfortably cover the mouth and nose. Make sure the narrow end of the mask is over the patient's nose. If the patient has a tracheostomy tube or endotracheal tube, use the flexible tracheostomy adapter to connect one end to the circuit and the other end to the patient's tracheostomy tube or endotracheal tube during therapy. When therapy is not being delivered by the system, disconnect the flexible tracheostomy adapter from the tracheostomy tube or endotracheal tube to permit the patient to breathe freely through their tracheal tube. At the same time, coach the patient to make spontaneous cough efforts to expel any mucus if they are able. While therapy is available in both automatic and manual modes, always use the settings prescribed by the physician. Before starting any therapy, make sure you have connected the applicable patient circuit to the system and that the patient circuit is placed into position on the patient. Then, select the preferred therapy mode. When Automatic is selected, the therapy preset last used on the control unit is automatically selected. If required, press the flow control to toggle between different intensities of air movement delivered during therapy. To continue with this therapy, press Start. Or follow these steps to select another preset. 
Swipe the Options tab left and press the Care Plan menu control. Select the preferred preset therapy plan. Review the therapy settings to make sure they match the prescription. Select another plan if required. If required, press Options to enable, disable, or adjust the settings for Patient Synchrony and End with Sigh. To enable Patient Synchrony, slide the setting to On and select the preferred level of sensitivity, Low, Medium, or High. To enable End with Sigh, slide the setting to On, then press the setting to change the pressure or time using the keypad control to enter the required setting, or use the plus or minus control to adjust the setting. Press Save to save the changes, or press Cancel. To start the therapy, press Start. If patients can participate in their therapy, have the patient breathe normally until the lungs fill to capacity during the inhale stage, and have the patient attempt to cough or huff during the exhale stage. Between cycles, examine the inside of the face mask, mouthpiece, flexible tracheostomy adapter, and or tracheal tube. If you see or suspect that there is mucus and the patient cannot spontaneously expel it, you may pause the therapy and help the patient to clear the mucus. If necessary, use suctioning devices as directed by the physician. You can pause a therapy session if needed and then press Resume to continue a paused session. If a therapy is paused for more than three minutes, therapy stops and a warning message will show. If this occurs, follow the on-screen instructions. When the therapy is stopped or completed, the therapy summary shows, including the number of treatment sessions carried out with a connected patient circuit and the maximum number of treatment sessions remaining for use on this patient circuit. Circuits are intended for 30 days of treatment or a maximum of 90 treatment sessions. When manual is selected, the screen shows the therapy settings last used on the control unit. If different settings are required, use the plus or minus control, or press the setting and use the keypad controls to enter the required setting. Press Enter to confirm the setting. If pressure oscillation is required, press Flutter. Here, you can adjust the pressure between 1 to 10 centimeters of water, the frequency between 5 to 10 hertz, and enable or disable the Flutter feature. To return to the therapy screen, press the Flutter control. Once therapy begins, you cannot adjust flutter. If required, press flow to toggle between different intensities of air movement during the therapy. Now you are ready to begin therapy. Press start. When the air pressure is ready for therapy, the inhale control is lighted. Press and hold the inhale control for 0 to 5 seconds as directed by the clinician to deliver the inhale stage. Then, press and hold the exhale control for 0 to 5 seconds as directed by the clinician to deliver the exhale stage. During the inhale stage, have the patient breathe normally until lungs fill to capacity. During the exhale stage, have the patient attempt to cough or huff. When the therapy is complete, press stop. The therapy summary is displayed. Press back to go to the initial therapy screen. Swipe the Options tab left and press the Home menu control. <music> Clinical access allows facility-authorized persons to access and configure advanced features. These include adjustment of the maximum pressure ceiling setting available to the user, modification of the preset therapy settings, import of the device settings, Setup and pairing of Bluetooth devices such as a barcode reader or pulse oximeter, upgrade of the system firmware, and import of the Health Level 7 or HL7 standard file. To access, press Device and press Controls. Slide the setting for clinical access to On. Enter the key code and press Enter. If applicable, contact your facility administrator to get the key code. When complete, press the Home menu control to exit. To prevent unauthorized persons from adjusting the settings, disable clinical access after you have made the settings by pressing Control, then slide clinical access to Off. Press the Home menu control to exit. Advanced Sinclara therapy settings allow you to create, modify, rename, or delete a preset therapy. This functionality is only available if clinical access has been enabled. You can adjust these settings for each cycle. Duration of therapy session. Therapy pressure. 
Enable, Disable, or Adjust Flutter. After you create, modify, rename, or delete a preset therapy, be sure to disable the clinical access. Refer to the Sinclara Cough System User Manual for additional advanced settings. It's important to clean the control unit and stand between therapy sessions, when visibly soiled, or according to facility protocols. To do so, power off the control unit and disconnect it from the power source. Disconnect the patient circuit from the control unit and disconnect any accessories attached to the control unit. Thoroughly wipe down the control unit. It is recommended that the control unit is cleaned with a soft cotton cleaning pad that is moistened with a compatible cleaner. Place the therapy port cap over the therapy port. Do not spray the cleaner directly onto the control unit. Do not use harsh cleansers, solvents, or detergents. Refer to the user manual for compatible cleaning solutions or compatible disinfectant wipes. Allow all parts to dry completely before reconnecting them for use. To clean the single patient use circuit, disconnect the circuit from the control unit and then disconnect all components of the circuit. Examine the inside of the smart filter. If it is damaged, visibly soiled or wet, replace it. Only wipe down the outside of the smart filter with a compatible cleaning solution. Do not soak or wash the inside of the smart filter. Wash the other components of the patient circuit, again excluding the smart filter, with warm soapy water. Let the components dry completely. After all components are dry, reassemble the circuit. To help prevent cross-contamination, replace the circuit and the smart filter between patients. Discard the circuit and smart filter in accordance with facility protocol. Make sure that the circuit is not used on more than one patient. Do not attempt to sterilize the circuit for reuse. If a circuit is damaged or visibly soiled, replace it. Be sure to always keep the smart filter dry and clean. To prevent injury or equipment damage, do not perform maintenance while the system is in use. Examine the inlet filter every month and clean it as necessary. Replace the inlet filter every 12 months. To clean the filter, power off the control unit, disconnect it from the power source, and remove the inlet filter from the back of the control unit. If the filter is damaged, replace it. Otherwise, wash the filter with warm, soapy water and rinse it with clean water. Allow the filter to dry completely and then install it into the back of the control unit. For complete instructions on the Sinclara cough system, please refer to the user manual. Only authorized technicians should service the Sinclara cough system. Initial training on safe and effective use will be provided by a qualified trainer.